Bears, are they just giant dogs in disguise? At first glance, the idea might seem silly, but let's explore this interesting comparison. Are they just big furry dogs with a sweet tooth for honey and a reputation for being grumpy? Both have a soft spot for sweet treats, especially honey, which makes us wonder if they are more alike than we think. It's tempting to think so. After all, both animals are beloved figures in our homes, inspiring countless stuffed animals and children's stories. Bears and dogs are the stars of many adventures and tales that enchant children around the world. Both wag their tails when they're happy and can be trained, although to different degrees. While dogs are known for their obedience and ability to learn tricks, bears can also be trained, albeit with more challenges. But, looking beyond the surface, the truth is much more complex. The differences between them become clear when we observe them closely. Although bears and dogs share a common ancestor in the distant past, their evolutionary journeys have shaped them into distinct creatures. Bears evolved to be solitary and adapted to wild environments, while dogs became loyal companions to humans, living in social groups and developing unique social skills. To understand the relationship between bears and dogs, we need to turn back the clock of evolution millions of years. Their story is a fascinating journey through time, revealing how two very different species share a common past. Both belong to the order Carnivora, a diverse group that includes cats, weasels and seals. This order is characterized by animals that, for the most part, have teeth adapted for cutting meat, although their diets can vary widely. Their common ancestor, a small, weasel-like creature, roamed the Earth during the Eocene Epoch, about 50 million years ago. This small mammal was a nimble predator, hunting small animals and insects to survive. This ancestor gave rise to two distinct lineages. Caniformia, which led to modern dogs, and Feliformia, which later branched out to include bears. The divergence between these two lineages was a gradual process, driven by changes in the environment and the availability of resources. Dogs belonging to the Canidae family evolved to become agile hunters, relying on speed and pack cooperation to bring down their prey. This ability to hunt in groups allowed them to become highly efficient predators, capable of taking down prey much larger than themselves. Bears, on the other hand, diverged into the Ursidae family, adapting to a wider range of environments and diets. They developed robust and powerful bodies, capable of withstanding cold climates and challenging terrains. While some, like the polar bear, became specialised carnivores, others, like the brown bear, evolved into opportunistic omnivores, consuming both plants and animals. This dietary flexibility allowed bears to spread across a variety of habitats, from dense forests to icy tundras. The ability of bears to adapt to different diets is exemplified by their fishing technique. Brown bears, for example, are known for their skill in catching salmon during their migration, a crucial source of nutrients. In contrast, dogs, especially wolves, rely heavily on group cooperation for hunting. Communication and coordination within the pack are essential for the success of their hunts. Another fascinating adaptation of bears is hibernation. During the winter months, many bears enter a state of dormancy, reducing their metabolic activities to conserve energy. Dogs, on the other hand, developed a unique relationship with humans. Domesticated thousands of years ago, they became loyal companions and versatile workers fulfilling a variety of roles in human society. The evolutionary history of bears and dogs is a testament to the incredible diversity and adaptability of life. Although they have followed different paths, both continue to fascinate and inspire with their unique abilities and complex behaviours. Despite their divergent paths, bears and dogs exhibit some striking similarities. Physically, both possess powerful limbs, sharp claws, and a keen sense of smell, a testament to their shared carnivorous ancestry. Both are highly intelligent creatures, capable of problem-solving and learning. For example, bears are known to use tools in the wild, such as stones, to crack open bones, while dogs were domesticated for their intelligence, serving as loyal companions and skilled working animals. 
While similarities exist, the differences between bears and dogs are equally fascinating. One of the most notable is hibernation. Bears, in response to harsh winter conditions and food scarcity, have developed the incredible ability to enter a state of deep sleep, lowering their metabolism and surviving off stored fat reserves. Dogs, on the other hand, do not hibernate. Instead, they rely on their social bonds and resourcefulness to navigate through tough times. Dr. Stephen Herrero, a renowned bear biologist, emphasizes the crucial distinction in their social structures. He mentions that understanding these differences is essential for the conservation and management of these species. Dogs are highly social animals, naturally forming packs with complex hierarchies, he explains. These hierarchies are maintained through constant social interactions where each pack member knows their place and role. Bears, on the other hand, are generally solitary creatures, with the exception of mothers raising their cubs. He adds that this independence is an evolutionary adaptation that allows bears to thrive in environments where resources may be scarce. This difference in sociability is reflected in their behavior, with dogs exhibiting a wider range of vocalizations and body language for communication. Dogs use barks, growls and even facial expressions to communicate with each other, says Dr. Herrero. Dr. John Vukatic, another expert on bear behavior, highlights the differences in their hunting strategies. He notes that bears' approach to hunting is shaped by their need to maximize energy efficiency. Dogs with their pack mentality often engage in cooperative hunting, chasing prey over long distances, he says. This cooperation allows them to bring down larger and faster prey than they could alone. Bears, while capable of running, are more likely to rely on ambush tactics or their brute strength to subdue their prey. Dr. Vucetic explains that bears prefer to ambush their prey, conserving energy and increasing their chances of success. Both experts agree that these behavioral differences are crucial to understanding how these species interact with their environments and with other species. Understanding these nuances helps us develop better conservation strategies, concludes Dr. Herrero. Ongoing research on bear and dog behavior not only helps us protect these species, but also learn more about the complexity of wildlife. Each discovery brings us closer to a deeper understanding of the natural world, finalizes Dr. Vukatic. Bears, despite the superficial similarities to their canine counterparts, are unique creatures shaped by millions of years of evolution. Their physical adaptations, solitary nature and remarkable ability to hibernate set them apart in the animal kingdom. While a playful bear cub might evoke the image of a cuddly puppy, it's essential to remember that these are wild animals that deserve our respect and understanding. The next time you encounter a bear, whether in nature or through the lens of a documentary, marvel at it for the magnificent and unique creature it truly is.